Grace Curtis and I'm Sikido Maria. And this is the church language. Turkish is spoken in Central Asia and parts of the Middle East. And Turkey, obviously. Austria, Bulgaria, Cyprus, Iraq, where it's Turkmen, which is a Turkish dialect. dialect. Iraq, Kosovo, Macedonia, and Moldova. There's uh, six, <clears throat> 60 million native speakers and 75 million fluent speakers of Turkish. It's in the Turkic language family. It's agglutinating, just like English. It has a subject, object, verb, sentence structure, and it's switched to a Latin based alphabet, so basic letters that are in English, plus those six characters that are specific to Turkish. Yeah, there are uh, characters J, Ş, it's actually not G, it's G. So it's like. History. It originated with the Ottoman Turkish Empire. They controlled much of the territory prior to World War One in the Balkans, Middle East, parts of Asia. After World War One, the Ottoman the Ottoman Turkish Empire broke up the nation states, much how the map looks today. During that time, they had extensive contact with Arabic and Persian speakers, so they had a lot of trading from religious channels. They even, until uh, 1928, had Arabic script. During 1928, a ruler called Ada Turk, it's not a he came to power and decided he wanted to purify the Turkish language. So he completely did away with the Arabic script, did away with a lot of the Arabic words that were in the language, and essentially changed the language and created the written system we have today. And about our informant, uh, examples of Turkish languages in, in this work was presented by Mehmet <coughs> Demir, Demir Tash. He was born in Konya, Turkey in 1986. Uh, he started writing poetry in 2006 and professionally, but he has some pub published uh, poems in newspapers. Um, and uh, he was accepted uh, in University of Arkansas in 2010, and he doing master degree in <coughs> What? What is 
their education. Cases. Uh, there are six cases in Turkish. It's a lot. So, there are confusing questions, I think, will be for you to understand that. Um, anyway, all those cases have definite markers to indicate them. Um, and those markers are, for negative cases, they uh, don't use any markers. So, if you say, kitab, book, it won't change any, anyway, it has no uh, articles, so it's just kitab, no markers. Uh, but if you, if you want to use genitive case, whose, you will use like possessive markers, there are many, it's C, and so on. Uh, in dative case, um, there are questions used in the direction of whom, where on, in the direction of what, and so on. And those, um, this uh, case uh, uses A or A, A, sorry, A or A sounds. And optional use sound. You can see here it's use sound actually makes sounds like Ya yeah and Y. Yeah. For example, eve gidi your your room. Eve gidi your room. How's the tip marker? Um, your continuous vowel well, harmony. You can see that here. Um, and <coughs> phrases. I'm going home. The locating case um, answers the question like a room where inside of what and represented by. Da, da, de, de. For example, Ali Kitabi Masa Masanin Al Pinda Budu Ali the book the table under possession marker direction marker defined. So the phrase is Ali found the book under the table. And ablative case away from whom away from what and this case represented by dan, tan, den, tem um, let's keep the cases I think you already can distinguish those markers uh, the last case is accusative case uh, it answers the question questions whom, what which place and represented by suffixes u, i, u and u Types of sentences. Just like English, it has, well, continuous tenses and continuous <coughs> tenses, and etc. Third sentence. Ali kitab al kudu. Ali read the book. A negative sentence. Use the negative marker. In this case, ma. However, there are four different negative markers. You can see those in your handout. Ali kitab al kudu ma du. Or di, excuse me. Al kudu ma di. Question. What? To make a question marker, you add the question marker. Ma, me, mu, mu. In this, Ali Kitabo, who mu, did Ali read the book? However, where you place this marker also matters. If you place it before the verb, it changes the meaning. Ali Kitabo, me, okudu, did Ali read the book or anything else? It also has a passive voice. However, instead of changing the word order, they simply have a passive marker. Nil. Ali, Karina, Yin, and Di. Rice was eaten by Ali. <coughs> Ali. Tenses. Past tense we've already seen. Ali, Tabo, Kudu. The do for the past tense marker is functionally just like ED in English. However, due to vowel harmonization, there are eight different past tense markers. There is past continuous, where you add a uh, Basically, a continuous marker, your, Ali Kitab, Oku Your Du, which means Ali has been reading the book. You have a present tense marker, which is just the R. Ali Kitab, Oku, present continuous. You drop the present marker, but have a continuous marker. Ali Kitab, Oku Your. This means Ali is reading the book, and Ali will be reading the book. And the last marker. For a future marker, 
Yes. Ali can uh, look who we have back. Ali will read the book. So, verbs. Verbs in Turkish are inflected for words engaging tenses and modality in person. Um, and we can see how verbs can change their gra gra grammar. Grammatical class. Yes. Category. Uh, so, Yarish. Compete, Yerish G, Yerish G, compete, no, competitor, yeah, say. Uh, oku, read, oku, mark, read, no, reading. Adjectives, so, um, adjectives used are used pretty similar to English language, so they come to four now, and example is. Kermis buyuk the taze elma, red big and fresh apple. Plurality is a little different than English. There is a plural marker, and you just have an indefinite number or something. Kimiris, Kimirzi, elma lar, lar and layer are plural markers because it's an indefinite number of the match. However, if you have a specific number, you just have the number and you drop the floor marker. Ali Buya, Buya's own kitab of Udu. Ali read 10 books this summer. Interesting enough, if you have something that states, not the number, but just a unit, like a bag of apples, the bag is considered a unit and you still drop the past or a floor marker. And I believe that is it. Any questions? Any question? I know our presentation was good, but it's true. <laughs> markers, uh, there is no like uh, specific uh, suffix for the nominative case. No. Okay. And for all other cases, they do, but yes. yeah, not for nominative. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Anybody?